I talked a lot of stuff about Philly tonight, but I do want you guys to go to Philly if you can. You should go to South Philly. It's a very dope neighborhood. Uh, they have uh, something I never see in other cities. They have fruit truck guys. They drive around, sell fruit at the back of a pickup truck. It's incredible. Uh, if you encounter them, don't talk to them. <laughs> They're crazy. They drive a truck full of fruit. Did you hear me? <laughs> That's their job. <laughs> I'm genuinely a very polite person. Like in my daily life, I can't help myself. The guy's sitting there, I'm perusing the fruit. I'm like, hey, sir, how you doing? He said, I'm stressed out. <laughs> Had some people run up in my house, hit me upside the head, took some of my shit. I said, damn. How much are these blueberries, though? Because <laughs> I feel like we got off topic. <laughs> Eventually, he calmed down. He explained to me, he said, I'm sorry. I'm just upset. I don't, I don't understand what type of young men would want to hurt a friendly fruit truck guy. I said, you right, man. You right. And between you and me, it was probably Remus and Lil Ray Ray Speckett ass. Because I always knew them kids wasn't going to be nothing but trouble. That's a callback from an earlier joke I told. This comedy shit is crazy. I still travel between Philly and New York a lot. I take the Chinatown bus. You guys ever take it? <laughs> yes, very cheap. Sometimes you can get there and back, $12. Come on. It's amazing. Sounds illegal. <laughs> it's probably illegal. <laughs> if you're not familiar, the Chinatown bus takes you from Chinatown in one city to a Chinatown in another city. Very suspicious. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> And it's so crazy, sometimes you can go online and buy a Chinatown bus ticket, and they don't even have an office. They just give you an address. You gotta show up, just assimilate into an Asian family. You know? <laughs> show them your bus ticket, a recent report card, you know. A, you know. a sincere interest in the medical profession, you know. Honor. <laughs> But I like the bus, because it, it keeps you real, you know? I like it. Like, you can't drift off looking at the, out the window into all types of moments of fantasy while a dog is savagely ripping up the armrest. <laughs> Y'all supposed to share. That keeps you rooted in reality, you know? Last time I was getting on the Chinatown bus, I saw this guy drop his iPhone face down. It broke, we all knew it broke. We all knew he didn't have no insurance <laughs> by the way that he gasped. But we were united in this moment because we saw it together, we heard it, we felt it, you know? As we were all getting on the bus, we took a second to stop and nod. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> Condolences in your time of need. We sat down, then we realized that for the next two hours, this guy was gonna operate his iPhone using Siri only. Uh. And we united again. <laughs> when we realized we might have to fuck him up. <laughs> in that moment, we became a Chinatown bus gang. United in the defense. I looked down, I saw an old lady just sharpening the end of her umbrella. <laughs> she just kept saying, say hey Siri again. <laughs> I dare ya. <laughs> but the guy's phone was broken, you know? It was, it was obvious he needed to get his life in order. He had to make a couple phone calls. First call was to his roommate, let him know what was going on. Second call was to his mom, cause you know, men. But after that, you know, it started to get a little artistic. All of a sudden, he was like, boop, boop, play Beyonce. <laughs> boop, boop, play Beyonce. <laughs> then he got all frustrated. He was like, boop, boop, play Rihanna. <laughs> I was like, shady! <laughs> you a shady bitch. I can't wait to make Beyonce tell about this shit. <laughs> If you're paying attention to my wildest fantasy, I meet Beyonce and I tell her about a time I was on the Chinatown bus. Because I am ready for fame. <laughs> you guys have been amazing. I'm Chanel Ali. Thank you so much.